In today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can get the IAA necklace and the FBI badge just like I got on right now. So to get it started, we are going to be doing the DM glitch. So if you already not eaten a um, bird peyote in single player, make sure you've eaten a bird peyote inside of single player. If you guys have already eaten a bird peyote inside of single player, then you don't have to do it again. So before you guys get started with the glitch, make sure you've already eaten a bird peyote inside of single player. Once you've ate the bird peyote inside of single player, just go ahead and make your way inside of a online session. Once you guys are inside an online session, just go ahead and make yourselves any outfit. It doesn't really matter, so I'm going to be using this outfit as an example right here. So just go ahead and put on any outfit, and on that outfit, make sure you have a parachute on it and a forward-facing cap. It doesn't have to be the same one as mine, just make sure that you have um, a forward-facing cap and a parachute on one of your outfits. Once you've got that, you're just going to go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your spawn location, and set it to last location. And lastly, you want to go ahead and open up your map and check to see where the time trial is at. So depending on what time you guys see this video, the time trial might be somewhere else because these do change every week. So depending on what time you see this video, like I said, it might be somewhere else. So just go ahead and make your way over to the time trial and make sure you use the regular time trial, not the RC Bandito time trial. Once you guys are at the time trial, just go ahead and get inside of any vehicle. Once you're inside that vehicle, just go to the time trial. Just hit right D-pad to start it. Once you start it, just hold down on your D-pad and go onto any story mode character and just accept this alert. Alright, so once you guys get loaded inside of single player, just open up your interaction menu and go inside director mode. Once you guys get loaded up inside of here, go to shortlist actors and from here hit either Y or triangle to remove all your shortlist actors. So just hit either Y or triangle and remove all your shortlist actors. Once you guys remove all your shortlist actors, just go to actors, go to animals and from here hit either Y or triangle to shortlist your um, bird. Once you guys shortlist your bird, just go ahead and back out. You wanna to go to online characters and from here, just go ahead and shortlist your online character. So just hit either Y or triangle to shortlist your online character. Once you shortlisted your online character, just go ahead and back out and you wanna to exit to story mode. All right, so once you guys are inside of story mode, you wanna go ahead and open up your interaction menu again and just go back into director mode. Once inside of here, go to shortlist actors, and from here, you're just gonna go in between your bird and your online character for about 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm gonna be putting a rubber band on my L stick to hold it down. So just go ahead and find a way to hold your L stick down and make it go in between your bird and your online character. Like I said, I'm gonna be using a rubber band. So if you don't got a rubber band, just find a way to make your L stick stay down. And you're gonna leave this for about 20 to 25 minutes. And what you're looking for is your online character to go on top of the haystack. So once your online character goes on top of the haystack, you can go ahead and take the rubber band off your controller. Also, if your birds aren't duping, for me when my birds don't dupe, I just go back inside of story mode and come back inside director mode and just start duping. So if your birds aren't duping, you can go ahead and try that. But I'm going to be back when our online character is on top of the haystack. And while you guys are waiting for the online character to go on top of the haystack, just go ahead and make sure you catch up on some of the old videos that you guys didn't watch yet. All right, so when you guys' character goes on top of the haystack just like this, just go ahead and take the rubber band off your controller. Once you guys take the rubber band off your controller, just go ahead and go back, go to actors. Now from here, if you're new to the DM glitch, I'm gonna suggest you stick between only beach bums and emergency services. If you know what you're doing, you can try the other options, but if you're new to the DM glitch, I'm gonna suggest you stick in between only beach bums and emergency services. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on beach bums, and once you guys get inside of here, all you're gonna do is hit either X or square. 
So whatever your appearance button is on the bottom right. So let's look at the bottom right. It's going to say appearance on Xbox. It's going to be X on PlayStation. It's going to be square. So from here, just go ahead and hit either X or square to get um, glitched out outfits. Now from here, if your character turns into a regular NPC, all you're going to do is just go back to your shortlist actors and you're going to go in between your online character and your bird and your online character should go on top of the haystack. And then once your online character goes back on top of the haystack, just go to the actors, either beach bumps or emergency services, and just click on either X or square on either one of these options. All right, so now from here, what you guys are gonna do is just go ahead and find an outfit that has a Christmas mask on it. Once you guys find that outfit with a Christmas mask on it, just go ahead and hit either Y or triangle to shortlist that outfit. And you also wanna remember that that outfit can't have more than one Christmas component on it. So once you've already got the Christmas mask on it, it can't have a Christmas sweater, Christmas pants, Christmas scarf, none of that. It needs to have only a Christmas mask on your outfit. So just go ahead and find yourself an outfit that has a Christmas mask on it. And you can use all the options inside of Beach Bombs like I was telling you guys earlier. So you can use all these options to try and find yourself an outfit that has a Christmas mask on it. And also in emergency services, you can also use all these options. The only one that's not going to um, work is LS, um, FD, and all that's going to do is just change the color of your outfits. So you can use all these options inside um, emergency services and beach bumps to find yourself an outfit that has a Christmas mask on it. If you guys, and also like I said, once you guys find the outfit that has a Christmas mask on it, hit either Y or triangle to shortlist it. And also if you guys have an outfit inside your recently used that has a Christmas mask on it, like this right here, you can also use that. Just hit either Y or triangle to shortlist it. So this is what I'm gonna be using right here. So once you guys have found an outfit with a Christmas mask on it, just go ahead and hit either Y or triangle to shortlist it. So once you guys have shortlisted that, you're just gonna go ahead and go into your shortlist actors. And from here, you're just gonna go ahead and delete your online character and your bird. So let's hit either Y or triangle to remove your online character and your bird once you found an outfit that has the Christmas mask on it. From here, if your outfit is invisible just like mine, just go back to your actors, go to beach bumps or emergency services, and just hit either X or square and you should see the outfits appear. Now that you've shortlisted your outfit that has a Christmas mask on it, what you're looking for is any type of outfit that has the IAA necklace and the badge on the pants. So it doesn't matter what mask it got on or whatever, you're just looking for any outfit that has the IAA necklace and the badge on it. So once I find that outfit with the IAA necklace and the badge on it, I'm gonna be right back with you guys. Just go ahead and hit either square or X to keep changing appearance until you find an outfit that has the, um, IAA necklace on it. So as you guys can see right here, I've got an outfit with the IAA necklace on it as well as the badge. So make sure it says IAA and not FIB. So once you've got an outfit with the IAA necklace on it and the badge on it, just go ahead and go back, go to your shortlist actors and the badge and the necklace should transfer over to your outfit. Now from here, just go ahead and select your outfit and take it inside director mode. All right, so from here, just go ahead and wait inside director mode for about 15 to 20 seconds. Once it's been about 15 or 20 seconds, just go ahead and hold down on your D-pad and switch to any story mode character. From here, just go ahead and wait inside single player for about another 15 or 20 seconds.
Alright, so once it's been about 15 to 20 seconds, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of an invite only session. Once you guys get loaded inside your online session, you should have your outfit on with the um, necklace and the badge. So from here, just make your way over to any clothing store and just come save your outfit. So I'm just going to look for the nearest clothing store and I'm just going to go ahead and save my outfit. Once you guys have saved the outfit, from here you can go ahead and customize it however you want. So most of the tops, the um, necklace is going to go over it. So I'm just going to use this as an example. As you can see, the necklace is gone right over it. And it's same as the pants. So for some reason, if you want to change your pants, just go ahead and change your pants. And the um, badge is also going to go over it. So let me just show you guys that real quick. So I'm going to go find the pants real quick. I think it's back here. Just go ahead and hit right D-pad. And as you can see, the... Um, the badge is just gonna go right over the pants, same as the top also. So I'm just gonna go ahead and customize this outfit real quick. I'm just gonna switch the top on it and put something else on it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and save it again. All right, so like I said, once you guys are done saving your outfit, just go ahead and come save it. And I, I'm pretty sure I already said this, but you can take the parachute off if you want. I'm gonna be putting a duffel bag on this. So I'm just gonna keep it on. Let me know what you guys think about this top right here. I'm not sure if I wanna keep this outfit like this or put the um, sport top on. So let me know what you guys think about this outfit right here. But yeah, once you guys have, um, Got your outfit, just go ahead and come save it. Alright, so as you can see, we got the IA necklace with the badge on it. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it, share it, subscribe, so you don't miss out on future GTA 5 um, glitches and tutorials.